Hello! I wanted to go over some directions on how to access digital books on Sora. Just a little bit of background, Sora is an application that Northside uses to place the digital books they have purchased, thousands of digital books, for students kindergarten to 12th grade. This application is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, year-round. And once again, it's for all Northside students. And the first step is to go to the website. If you are on a laptop, desktop, or Chromebook, you would go to Sora, S-O-R-A-A-P-P dot com slash. Um, the original site is home, H-O-M-E, or it looks like welcome would work as well. Um, the other thing to know is that if you're using this on your phone or um, your parents' phone um, or a tablet, you would download the app for free from the App Store. And then the directions from there are not that different using a uh, tablet or phone. So once we have gone here, it is not showing north side. This is the worst case scenario. Yours very well may um, show a north side um, location under is this your school but I want to cover all possible situations. So we don't see our school here or district. So click on the bottom. My school isn't listed. Of course, I'm going to type Carnahan and select this is my school. It prompts us to the username. Um, your username is that six digit student ID number that you use in the cafeteria when you're purchasing a snack for lunch, or you also use this number when you are in the library checking out books. Um, one thing to know is that you do want to type the S in front of the number, and then your six digit, six digit student ID without a space. I'm going to pause here for a minute, and I'll be right back while I type in uh, my son's student ID number. I would really like you guys to see the student uh, viewpoint of this program and not the employee. So this is the screen you see when you first log in. You can click over here and um, you can change the icon or um, give yourself a nickname over here. And um, something else helpful to take a look at is if you want to change any of the download settings, this also gives you that opportunity to do that. You can see that we have a book on loan, um, but I want to also show you how to search. Uh, I'm going to try to move that down just a little bit more. So at the very bottom, I'm going to click Explore. That gives you the search box. So if I want to search for something like Minecraft or Mysteries or a ghost book, this is where I would type some of those terms. So I'm going to go ahead and type cats. Keep it simple. And this is showing the search results for all kinds of different cat books. And you can see the Warrior Chapter books, Pete the Cat, um, lots of Warrior books. Scrolling down, uh, Will, Will Moses, Raining Cats and Dogs, The Cats of Tanglewood Forest. Now, if you're trying to determine if the book is available or not, if it has the green uh, borrow, green borrow, the blue borrow, those books would be available. If the book says place a hold or place hold, that means someone else is borrowing the book and you can place a hold and be on the waiting list for those items or item. I'm going to go ahead and borrow Dogs and Cats by Steve Jenkins and show you how that looks. All right, and you can tell that the book really does look very similar to the uh, holding a physical library book, which I think is really neat. This one has 80 pages, and I'm going to
There we go. Do some scrolling through the pages. So you can see it's really covering a lot of information. Okay, I'm going to click close on that one and I'm going to go ahead and borrow a second book. Let's also borrow Who Stole Halloween um, so that you can see what a chapter book looks like. Okay, so there is our cover. is really there we go we're looking at the full page screen okay so there's our beginning and I am using the arrow on my keyboard to scroll through so there is our book you can see the publication information copyright information the very first page and chapter one So you can see that's very easy to read. You really do feel like you are holding the book in your hands, except you're reading it on the computer screen. Okay, and all I did was click, and we're back to the very beginning. I'm going to choose close. And um, once again, would like you to see all the different selections. You can tell there's a lot. Um, you also can check on your shelf. I'm going to open up uh, more bears to show you with the picture book. There's our zoom. Okay. And our title page. And there's our story. Once upon a time, there was a story. And we are very lucky to be able to read all of these online. And you can see that is uh, just wonderful. Um, lots of details all the way through till the end of the book. close out on that one and I'm um, going back to my shelf um, this does show the if you have any holds um, the status um, any activity I'm going to go back to explore and um, show you some of these choices across the top so if you do want to specifically look at for example the audiobooks about cats that's an option Clicking back on our search. I'm going to clear that search. Click cancel. And um, now that we're in the uh, explore section, I did want to draw your attention to a couple more things that you might want to know about. If you know that you just love funny books, you might want to take a look at this section. If you know that you really like mysteries, you might want to click on the mystery choice. Um, it's showing you the newest of the ebook editions. It's showing you the most popular books right now, over a thousand books. It's showing you some suggestions on your searches, your next great read. And
And the Blue Bonnet books for 2020, 21. This is the newest of the new. And I'm going to go ahead and open this, guys. Blue Bonnet books are for grades 3 through 6. And this has some wonderful uh, Blue Bonnet choices. All right, guys, I'm going to end there. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, any problems, if you just want to comment, please feel free to post in the classroom or send me an email at Janet, J-A-N-E-T, dot pow, P-O-W-E-L-L, at N-I-S-D dot net. Thank you so much. Happy reading. If you're not reading online, I hope that you're reading um, books somehow, some way. Thank you again.